History of Geophysics, Wikipedia Audio The historical development of geophysics has been motivated by two factors. One of these is the research curiosity of humankind related to planet Earth and its several components, its events, and its problems. The second one is economical usage of Earth resources and Earth-related hazards such as earthquakes, volcanoes, tsunamis, tides, and floods. In circa 240 BC, Eratosthenes of Cyrene measured the circumference of the Earth, using trigonometry and the angle of the Sun at more than one latitude in Egypt. There is some information about earthquakes in Aristotle's Meteorology, in Naturalis Historia by Pliny the Elder, and in Strabo's Geographica. Aristotle and Strabo recorded observations on tides. Classical and Observational Period A natural explanation of volcanoes was first undertaken by the Greek philosopher Empedocles, who considered the world divided into four elemental forces, earth, air, fire, and water. Empedocles maintained volcanoes were manifestation of elemental fire. Winds and earthquakes would play a key role in explanations of volcanoes. Lucretius, claimed Mount Etna was completely hollow and the fires of the underground driven by a fierce wind circulating near sea level. Observations by Pliny the Elder noted the presence of earthquakes preceded an eruption. Athanasius Kircher witnessed eruptions of Mount Etna and Stromboli, then visited the crater of Vesuvius and published his view of an earth with a central fire connected to numerous others caused by the burning of sulfur, bitumen, and coal. Arguably the first modern experimental treatise was William Gilbert S. de Magnet, in which he deduced that compasses point north because the earth itself is magnetic. In 1687 Isaac Newton published his Principia which not only laid the foundations for classical mechanics and gravitation but also explained a variety of geophysical phenomena such as the tides and the precession of the equinox. Then these experimental and mathematical analyses were applied to several areas of geophysics, Earth's shape, density, and gravity field, Earth's magnetic field, seismology, and Earth's age, heat and radioactivity. There are several descriptions and discussions about a philosophical theory of the water cycle by Marcus Vitruvius, Leonardo da Vinci and Bernard Palissy. Pioneers in hydrology include Pierre Perrault, Edmi Mariotta, and Edmund Hawley in studies of such things as rainfall, runoff, drainage area, velocity, river cross-section measurements and discharge. Advances in the 18th century included the Daniel Bernoulli S. piezometer and Bernoulli's equation as well as the Pitot tube by Henri Pitot. In the 19th century, groundwater hydrology was furthered by Darcy's law, the Dupuy-Thiem well formula, and the hagen poiseuille equation for flows through pipes. Physical Geography of the Sea, the first textbook of oceanography, was written by Matthew Fontaine Maury in 1855. The thermoscope, or Galileo thermometer was constructed by Galileo Galilei in 1607. In 1643, Evangelista Torricelli invented the mercury barometer. Blaise Pascal rediscovered that atmospheric pressure decreases with height and deduced that there is a vacuum above the atmosphere. The 20th century was a revolutionary age for geophysics. Physics of Earth's interior and seismology were developed by Emil Wechert, Bino Gutenberg, Andrija Mohoro AI, Harold Jeffries, Inga Lehmann, Edward Bullard, Charles Francis Richter, Francis Birch, Frank Press, Hirokana Mori, and Walter Elsasser. 
knowledge of different types of waves produced from seismic events was better understood. These waves include P wave, S wave, and Love wave and Rayleigh wave. In the second half of the 20th century, plate tectonics theory was developed by several contributors including Alfred Wegener, Maurice Ewing, Robert S. Dietz, Harry Hammond Hess, Hugo Benioff, Walter C. Pittman, 3, Frederick Vine, Drummond Matthews, Keith Runcorn, Brian L. Isaacs, Edward Bullard, Xavier L. E. P. Sean, Dan McKenzie, W. Jason Morgan and John Tuzo Wilson. Instrumental and Analytical Period Advances in physical oceanography occurred in the 20th century. Sea depth by acoustic measurements of was first made in 1914. The German meteor expedition gathered 70,000 ocean depth measurements using an echo sounder, surveying the mid-Atlantic ridge between 1925 and 1927. The Great Global Rift was discovered by Maurice Ewing and Bruce Heason in 1953, while the mountain range under the Arctic was found in 1954 by the Arctic Institute of the USSR. The theory of sea flower spreading was developed in 1960 by Harry Hammond Hess. The ocean drilling program started in 1966. There has been much emphasis on the application of large-scale computers to oceanography to allow numerical predictions of ocean conditions and as a part of overall environmental change prediction. As an international scientific effort between 1957 and 1958, the International Geophysical Year or IGY was one of the most important for scientific activity of all disciplines of geophysics, aurora and airglow, cosmic rays, geomagnetism, gravity, ionospheric physics, longitude and latitude determinations, meteorology, oceanography, seismology and solar activity. Industrial applications of geophysics were developed by demand of petroleum exploration and recovery in the 1920s. Later, petroleum, mining and groundwater geophysics were improved. Earthquake hazard minimization, soil-slash-site investigations for earthquake-prone areas were a new application of geophysical engineering in the 1990s. The word geophysic, as far as is known, was first used in 1834 by Julius Frobel. He discussed geophysics in letters to his former teacher, Christian Friedrich Skonbian. The word geophysics appeared in print only a few times between 1834 and the 1880s. An 1848 edition of the Encyclopedia Myers Grosses Conversations Lexicon included the article Geophysic, perhaps written by Frobel. Carl Friedrich Naumann used the term in 1849 in a new context in his Lehrbuch der Geognosie portraying geophysics as one of three parts of the geognosy of the whole Earth, along with geodesy and abyssology, the science of the deep Earth. He also discussed a geognosy of the peripheral parts of the Earth, geology of the crust, hydrography, and atmospherology. Naumann used geophysic with a more restricted meaning. The term geophysics appeared sporadically through the 1860s and 1870s in Germany. Adolf Murray used it in association with meteorology and climatology in 1863. In the 1870s, George von Neumeyer applied it to the oceans and Ferdinand von Richthofen to the solid earth. Related terms were used in English, Italian, and probably in other languages. In 1840, John Herschel wrote of terrestrial physics and physical geography. Angelo Secchi, Ernesto Sergent, and Francesco Denza, among other Italians, 
preferred the term physica terrestre. Secchi and Sergent presented physical terrestrial topics for students. Denza discussed meteorology specifically as a part of terrestrial physics. In Turkish, the word arzifizaki that means geophysics appeared in the 1920s in the name of Kandili Observatory as Arzifizaki Kandili Rezathansi. 20th Century Origin of the Word the problem of foundation of geophysics as an independent scientific discipline has been discussed by Wilfried Schroeder. General research into the history of geophysics has been done by the Commission for History of Geophysics and COSMical Physics under the direction of Wilfried Schroeder, which published the journal Bericht der Geschichte der Geophysik und Kosmischen Physik, 1989-1990.